on guys, Jeff here with Northeast Beer Guys, and you are watching the third installment of our IPA bracket series, and that'll just be coming up after a few short messages. Uh, hey, didn't see you there. Jeff here with Northeast Beer Guys, as I mentioned before, we got episode two, three actually. Episode three, come on, get with it, man. Episode three of our IPA bracket series. I'm doing this one. Um, Ken's a little too drunk to do this one, so that's fine. Um, I'm a drunk. But um, I'm excited because now we're, we're Ken, you know, sort of split the bill between East and West Coast last week. Uh, we, we got two, not just East Coasters, we got two New Englanders right here. We got, I'm bringing you the shipyard. I thought... I always said it was a triple X, but it's not. It's four X's. We got the four X IPA from Shipyard, and they are out of uh, Maine. And then we got the Loaded Question Sparkle Toes Indiana Indiana Pale Ale, India Pale Ale. I'm now Loaded I'm Question, like, they're they're an amazing little brewing company out of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, not too far from us. Yeah, it's steal my thunder, why don't you, huh? Uh, oh, they're about. I'm oh, sorry, I digress. About fourteen miles out. Um, I've never been there, but Ken went there. Uh, you want to tell? You want to talk a little bit about your visit there? Um, we'll talk about. There'll be future reviews for Loader Question. Um, okay, that's fine. But yeah, we'll definitely talk about Loader Question in the future. Yeah, no, I just, I, you know, I thought you wanted to step all over my monologue, so I just gave you the opportunity to do so even more. That's cool. Um, now, but, who are they going up against? Like who? who like who, I, I said the shipyard. Who are the champions? Who are the current champions right now? Who moved on got, to the semifinals? Well, so far we got Funky Bow and Bad Lab waiting for the decider, the deciding champions of these next two matchups we got it for you. So I'm bringing to you Loaded Question and Shipyard this week. Uh, in a few days, uh, Ken's going to bring you Nice. Nice, I think. Nice. Is, I have to look up the pronunciation of that. And then Outhouse Ales. Uh, and so that's going to be coming for you in at you know, at least within the next four or five days. Uh, we got a new review coming up too, so stay tuned for all that. But let's get into this thing. So Shipyard versus Loaded Question. Um, IPA bracket series, baby. So Loaded Question is coming in at a 9.25% alcohol by volume. I remember that right off the top of my head. I didn't have to look at the can. And the IBU is 72. The Loaded Question doesn't have the IBU, but... It is a 7.4% alcohol by volume. Oh, so, I'm impressed. Uh, they're a little high. Uh, that, competitors. Competitors, baby. That's what we're talking about. Yep. So, we got our glasses right here. They're all set. Nice, nice and squeaky clean. Now, the only thing is, decide which one we're going to dive into first. We'll do Sam Adams for a loaded question. Cheers for Shipyard. Cheers. Cheers. Shipyard. Shipyard, you're the first one up. All right. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Look at oh. that. Talk about combination. It isn't up on me. God damn. It's got a nice flavor to it, though. So, uh... As you can probably tell, that is not from me pouring it, because as you all know, I pour like a bitch and I don't really care about my heads. Um, but that is from the can, and that is a wonderful a color. little color. Look at that. Move it down a little bit. There we go. That is just, that is beautiful. That is something. It's a nice, you know, rich amber color. You know, it doesn't shy away from the light. Got a nice mix of like a malt and some hops in there on the smell. That's probably why it's a triple quadruple X, because it's not a it's not a golden color. It's an amber color. Built to have a slightly maltier backbone with explosive floral and citrus notes. It demonstrates a unique balance between the malt and hop, with hints of sweet grains, lemon, tangerine, grapefruit, and wildflowers on the nose. This bold IPA finishes with a lingering dr hoppy dryness. Well, I think Jeff from Multi's Bay Guys is going to figure that out and see if that is true. Yep. About we'll to give it a second while the. We'll let the head. We'll let the head go down. Let's see. 
So loaded question says sparkle toes is a big tropical fruit nose. Oh, so it's like a smell. That's weird. That's a weird way to say it. And a complex flavor with notes of citrus, pineapple, and passion fruit. Complex flavors is what I'm all about because that's gonna make me fucking kill myself. All right, um, but here we go. That's good. What do you get? I'm getting a lot of grapefruit. I'm um, definitely tasting the malt. The malt's there. The hops are there. Now they hitting you in different areas. The hops are definitely more on the mouth, uh, but the malt and like that sort of grapefruit flavor that I was describing, that's sort of more straight down the middle. But it's not like anything here. The hops are just sort of, you know, over the roof. Up on the you know? piece. Yeah, exactly. Mm. The malt's like not like a traditional malt though. It's very sweet and I think that's like speaks to a lot of the fruits and stuff that they use. Yeah. It's a very sweet malt. It's not like a malty malt, you know, if you get what I'm saying. Now, you catching any lemon or anything? There's there's a bunch of citrus flavors that they listed, and so it's hard for me. Like, I'm tasting, first and foremost, I'm tasting the dryness of the grapefruit. Um, um, there might be a little pineapple I'm getting. I guess, the like, there's, a, like, a sort of freshness in my mouth that I guess I could attribute to a lemon flavor, but that could also be the hops, you know, who yeah. knows. But... This ale is best drunk at 55 degrees Fahrenheit, everybody. Just so you know, that is the temperature you should be drinking all of your beer. Essentially room temperature. Not warm beer. Room yep. temperature beer. Just drink it at 55 degrees. You can't go wrong. It'll taste better. I mean, what the fuck do you want? Hey, put the label. <laughs> turn the label. Turn the label. <laughs> Pay attention, kid. Thank you. Forget about it. Figure it out over All right. There. Well, now... <coughs> <coughs> Jesus, I spit all over the table with that one. Uh, we gave we gave Shipyard its time in the sun. I mean, not really, but uh, now it's time for a loaded question. Now, I actually haven't had one of their beers because I was oh that one too. Jesus, I must have like shook it up, shook them up a little bit when I was ripping them out of the six packs or something. Who knows? It's also what's cute about this is like you can't you can't really see it from where you guys are, but it's like filled right up to the mouth of the can. I kind of like that. So you get every ounce right there. Yep. Oh. Look at that color. Now this one, this one I could just say oh, is like... right there. That color is amazing. No variation with color on that one going from the can to the glass. I can tell Hold you that down much. a little. We're going way too high there, kids. Um, wow. That color is gorgeous. It is beautiful. The shipyard was a, a great color, but that's a gorgeous color, like like a, a perfect gold almost. Yeah. It's carbonating beautifully. I mean, the shipyard still is too, but it's carbonating beautifully. Um, it's got a cuter head, cute, cuter littler head than the shipyard had. Oh, this this thing smells decadent. Yeah. That is such a nice pineapple smell. It's very floral. They weren't kidding. They really weren't kidding when they said uh, big tropical fruit nose. No, I think they advertise it. I think they got a double one of those coming out. Oh, that would be dangerous, yeah. But this this thing smells absolutely divine. You don't smell the hops too, so I'm like kind of scared. It might be like one of those hidden things. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm afraid I'm just going to hit right in the nuts with it. Oh god, that is so that's such a nice flavor smell. I would wear that as a cologne. Well, a pitter patter. Oh, hmm. The hops don't hit. They they're not gonna hit. They don't hit quite as hard. Um, but they, it's a nice complimentary flavor. You know, you still get the dry hop finish, which I'm tasting a lot more now that I'm actually talking about it. You know, I feel it, like I taste it in the back of my throat. Any other flavors? Um, well, yeah, I was going to get to that. Oh, I'm sorry. But it's an, it's an IPA, so the hops are the most important part, you know? Mm. Tasting that passion fruit first and foremost, as far as flavors other than the hoppiness. 
Um, oh, that's a nice, nice little flavor. Hitting the different parts of the mouth. Same deal as the shipyard. Um, which I noticed is actually a trend. You know, they all like we suddenly magically put picked beers that hit the same way as far as the flavors go. Um, you know, hops going over the roof. The rest of the flavors just going straight down. But I'm getting that pineapple tasting grapefruit. I think too. Which might be that citrus that they mentioned. The pineapple, citrus, passion fruit, like all those flavors are sort of commingling in my mouth together, and it's really. Really very good. All right. Ooh. Now, all in all, these are both very good beers. Um, and we definitely should do a review at some point on the loser because all in, like either either way I decide this, it's gonna be. You know, they're both good. I'm gonna go with a loaded question. Loaded question. There you go. Out of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. The shipyard is good, but me personally, I really could only drink one at a time because it. I didn't talk about this, but it does have that you know very strong alcohol flavor, that you know a lot of those high ABV beers have, and that sort of tears down a lot of the other flavors that are in it. It's still very good. I could have maybe one, you know, like to kick off my night, but outside of that, I don't think I'd be able to. Me personally, I don't think I, I could drink an entire four pack to myself. Well, even though shipyard's not moving on, would you buy that shipyard again? Yeah? yeah, absolutely. I'd have it around. You know, just it, like, you know, as a pregame for like parties or something or for shows, you know. Yeah, it's a very good beer. Or if you just, I, you know, I just want a strong beer to help me fall asleep. Shipyard is the way to go. And, you know, if you're a fan of that alcohol taste, definitely pick it up. I definitely recommend it. Because all, all in all, everything else together is very good. <laughs> But, but loaded question is moving on to the semifinals. That wraps up my portion of the initial rounds. Gets bad lab. Loaded question versus bad That's lab. That's gonna be hard. Summers worth New Hampshire versus Portsmouth New Hampshire. Holy let's cow! Let's see. Let's see how it breaks down. We'll see. Let's see you guys in a week and a half when uh, I get to try that lineup together, and that's probably gonna be tough. It's gonna be a hard decision, there, kid. I'm gonna be dreading it. Thank you. But. That's the end of this video. If you liked the video, hit it with a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, hit it with a thumbs down. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, fuck. Suggestions? Suggestions. Leave it in the comment section below. <laughs> Leave it in the comment section below. Uh, if you really like us, you want to see us in your, new, your YouTube feed every week, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you want a notification every time we post a new video, which is sparingly, I know, but you know we're getting around to that. Hit that notification bell so you never miss the opportunity to give you one of the first ones to view our videos. Check uh, us out on Instagram. Northeast Bay guys. Check on us Instagram. out on Instagram. Uh, Ken, Ken and I, with the family, we go we go to a bunch of events with beer. We talk about beer at different events, you know, and so on and so forth. It's sort of our thing. That's how we use our free time. Um, but outside of that, uh, if you're new to the channel, check out our older videos. You know, you might find something in there that you like. There might be advice that you've been needing. But you just didn't know it. It's the way the stars align and shit, you know? But, as always from us here at Northeast Beer, guys, cheers.